in the name of the mighty God, the Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Today, I do have great news for all of you out there, my dear brother and sister. Do you know why I say great news? Because this is wonderful gift from the Almighty God to all of us, the brother and sister around the world. I'm talking about seven billion, more than seven billion human beings on earth right now. As you know, we are in the dark tunnel the end of the tunnel, but it's so dark because we are so messy. But there was the light of life, the truth, and the life of the Almighty God He give to you and me forever by the love of the Holy God, Jesus Christ. So I will prove to you and you the one who decide. Either you take it or leave it. Take what? Take the gift of the Almighty God, the gift to you. And if you don't need it, you want to deny it, it's all up to you. But please, take your time and be patient with me and I will report to you something that ever before so important. From the day the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, came to earth more than 2,000 years ago until today. The first one, the good news is the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, came to earth to save you and me. That the first and the most important news from the Almighty God, give to all humankind. But today is the second good one for the Almighty God to give to you. So be ready, be patient, all right? Are you ready? Be ready, all right? My dear brother and sister, on August 29, 2009, the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appeared in the sky of Orange County, California, USA. The city of Westminster, home sweet home. And you see, this is the face of Jesus up here. And this is the original color. And this is, I make the color darker so you may see more detail. You see that? Now I will show you some details so you may learn something. My dear brother and sister, you're going to be very surprised and be very happy because the Almighty God loves you and me so much. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You know John 3.16 talk about this? This is exactly what I'm talking about right here. This is exactly what I'm reporting to you right now. Take a look at this. This is the face of the Holy God, Jesus Christ. 
You see that? When I'm holding this holy cause, I pray. On August 29, 2009, the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appear in the sky to teach us something very important. Take a look at this face. Right here. This face is as same as this face right here. What do you see here? My dear brother and sister. What do you see? Tell me the truth. You have to look with your spiritual eye. You know. <laughs> you know, forget about the thing that you want it or you, you like it. You know, this is something you need, okay? So use your spiritual eye, would you? This is the eye of the Holy God, Jesus Christ. And this is the nose. And this is the mouth and the lip right here. It's all messed up. The nose all messed up. And look at it at the eye. He got bit up by a human. And you see all, all the blood from the eye come out here? Take a look at this. Look closer. Take a look at this. Human beat up Jesus Christ. 2,000 years ago. More than 2,000 years ago. And now he appeared in the sky as he promised. He promised he will come back to rescue you and me. Because without him, we, we are <laughs> punked up. You know what I mean? That's right. Without the Holy God, Jesus Christ, you and me punked up. And this isn't no joke. Even though I am the, I am, you know, I am a, you know, a joker. I am a joker also, you know what I mean? But this is no joke, brother. This is, my dear brother, sister, this is the faith of Jesus. Believe or not, it's up to you. I am only report and you decide. And remember, you know, this is no joke. Even though I am, you know, a joker sometimes. You know, I am a joker like you too, you know. And I tell you, this is Brother Jimmy. The last prophet of God sent to earth before the incoming. But because we are so delayed, that's why I'm not the last prophet no more. You know why? Because if the Holy God come back right now, right now, most of human will be go to hell. Because most of us, we're not ready. You know why? Because we are so selfish. That's right. You got to be careful now. If you are selfish, you better you know, do something about it because, you know, I tell you, we are so messed up, you know, we, the way we do things everyday life, you know, most of the time, you know, a lot of time we hypocrite, you know, we, you know, oh my goodness, we are against God's will. But the Holy God knows that, that's why the Holy God, Jesus Christ, come to earth to rescue you and me. Anyhow, anyway, let's go straight to the point. Take a look at this. This is the eye. And this is the nose, and this is the mouth and lip, and this is the beard. Right here, my brother and sister. Take a look at it. Alright, that's why it's right there. What do you see? Ah, there we go. You learned something. And now, this is the, the, the rainbow, and also the heater, you know, the heat, you know, from the sun, the sun over here. This is the sign of the sun will big bang again. You know, the heat will attack the earth. By that, that time, earthquake and tsunami, you know, the water wave high, my up to the sky. By that time, only the Holy God, Jesus Christ, can save you and save your family and save your country. Take a look at that. This is the original color. There we go, this is the original color. 
This is what I make it darker so you may see clear. All right. Now. My dear brother and sister. This is me, brother Jimmy. Holding it holy cause. Pray. And I need to show you something here. So you may learn something. I, again, I only report and you the one who decide, alright? It's me holding the holy cross. The, the one I just showed you. And this is the fair of Jesus. You see over here, the fair of Jesus over here. The, over here is over here. When I turn this way, what do you see? You see the fair of Jesus right there? Right here. Right here, the fair of Jesus right here. Right here. Right here, the fair of Jesus right here. Sam and this one right here. There we go. There we go. You see something? Enough. I think you see. Okay, my dear brother and sister. Now my brother and sister. <clears throat> All of this picture, Amos, they are copyright at U.S. Public Library, Congress Public Library. And now I'm going to show you something. It's going to suck you, right? It's going to make you think very careful about the way we do things. You know, a way the way that we do, we do business. You know, we always you know think that we can get away, run away from the truth. You know, and uh, we cheat in each other, and especially is uh, all of these uh, uh, business around the world. You know, the bad guy. You know, I mean they rip off from the hardly hardworking people. I mean you know, the great company shareholder and then they go around the world you know they create war you know and then you know business war you know and then they rip off from their hard working people that's all they do they not do any weird hard work and they not you know most of them they not produce or promote anything create anything good for human most of the bad business guy, the rich guy out there, they, you know, they rip off from the hard working people. And now it's time for them to wake up to repent because otherwise they will be stay with Satan. Now I show you why. Same day, August 29, 2009. This is up here in the sky also. Take a look at this. You see anything there? I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to show you the uh, original color. This is Satan right here, Lucifer. Angel Lucifer throw a maker kick out from heaven, and now they on earth. They become Satan. All the place, they are around me, around you, and always ready to get you and get you and me. If we're not with Jesus, they will get you. And when I turn this way, you see Jesus' face over here. You see that? Jesus' face over here. The eye, the nose, the mouth. The, you know, the image, the picture I showed you not long ago. But when I turn this way, of course, the face of Jesus over here, but Satan over here. Snack. You come down, become the body of Satan. You see, it's, it's called the eye right there. Right around me. Right behind me. That means they are right behind and around you, my brother and sister. 
So if you're not with Jesus, Satan will get you. So you better be with Jesus, all right? Now, this is the original color. Got it? I turn this way, you can see the face of Jesus right here. You know. See the face of Jesus? Right there. Yeah. Faith of Jesus right there. Now, this up here, August 29, 2009 also. You, my brother and sister, you need to get on the website Right here. FaceGodJesusChrist.com To see more Amos appear in the sky. And you will learn something that you really need to learn and take action to be able to save you and your family. You need to go on this website to learn more clearly and take message from the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, tell you what to do. Now, exactly one year later, me and my family pray outside in our backyard. We're asking for the Almighty God, give us sign so we, you know, can learn from God and also we can deliver it to you. So, August 29, 2009, the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appear in the sky and Satan appear in the sky. And exactly one year later, August 29, 2010, the Lion of Judah appeared in the sky. Take a look at this one. This is, I make the color darker so you, so you may see clear. Take a look over here. What do you see? This is the eye of the father lion. This is the nose and the mouth of the father lion. This is the body, this is the leg. Revelation John 5.5 5, talk, you know, talk about the lion of Judah. This is the lion of Judah. And this, this is the father lion face right here. And to show you. This is the baby lion, you see? The head over here, you see the tongue, you see the tongue right here? The mouth right here, the open mouth, the teeth, you know, and the, the mouth right here, the tongue right here. Take a look at that. And then the tail right here, and the leg right here. This one baby lion right here, the head tail. The other baby lion is the head over here, the tail over here, and the leg over here. That means two baby lion on top of the father lion. I mean, for attack by the father lion. You see two baby lion up here, the father lion down here. For attack the baby lion. The father lion and two baby lion flying across the sun. This is the sun right here. We capture August 29, 2010 at 9.30 in the morning, my dear brother and sister. This say that you need to be with the Father Lion. In the Bible, talk about the Lion of Judah is rep represent of the Holy God, Jesus Christ. So you, you, you and me better be with Jesus Christ to able to be protected. You see that? 
That's wonderful new. Now, I'm going to show you the original color. This color, I make the background darker so you may see clear. All right, now I show you the original color. All right. The original color is beautiful. Awesome. This is the original color. What do you see, my dear brother and sister? See? The baby lion over the mouth. The father lion, the eye, the nose, the mouth. Right there. You may learn something. You may not. It's up to you. I only report, and you the one who decide what you're going to do with this. All right? This is up here, August 29, 2010, at 9.30 a.m. And same day, around 12.45 p.m. in the afternoon, Another line of Judah up here in the sky. This one on Revelation John 5 5 also. This, but this is a, the uh, attack lion, you see. It's open mouth, all the tea, and it's you know, all, you know, position always on already to attack the bad guy or to attack Satan and chase the Satan and the demon and devil away, lock them up in hell with the bad guy. You see this? I make the, the color darker so you may see more detail. There we go. Open mouth, T and the eye too. Flying across the sun. Seven head, you know, seven eye. Revelation John 5 5 talk about Attack lion. This lion appear. This dragon lion appear in the sky. August 29, 2010. Around 1245 p.m. in the afternoon. So you may learn something, my dear brother and sister. Now. I need to show you something else before I go to the detail about what we're going to do about God call if you not be with Jesus Satan will get you or you will be burned like this. You see that? This appear in the sky. November 15, 2011. And remember, again, I telling you, I'm not, te I'm not talk to you, but I telling you, the Almighty God tell me to tell you my dear brother and sister because God loves you and I love you I don't care who you are what you are what you do God tell me to love you that's why God tell me to give you the message so you out there you know can deliver it to all the brother and sister around the world to know and each of you each of us have to decide need to decide what we're going to do with God calling you to be servant of God and also to be honest with God and answer God's call because the end is coming of course you know schedule you know will be on time so now I'm going to show you something 
you go to shake a little bit. This is the face of Satan appear in the sky. A new a, a new year day. One one two thousand eleven. Take a look at this. Be with Jesus and be happy. Or Satan will get you. This is no joke. See Satan right here. The eye right here. See the eye? The nose and the mouth sucking many souls. Those who against Jesus Christ rule. Those who not obey Jesus Christ rule will be Satan slavery because Satan will get them. So be with Jesus and be happy or Satan will get you. So all the bad guy out there, I'm talking about the business people, you know, the rip up people, you know, I mean the, you know, the, those folks, you know, folks who create war to make money, you know, and those uh, uh, rich and selfish, you know, and, and you know, and those, you know, hurt your brother and sister, you know, I mean, or hurt yourself, you know. We all must repent. We can know all the joy. And take a look over here. You can tell this is the dragon of God up here. Try to push this guy away. But this guy is Satan. And up here, see two eyes right here. This is the dragon of God up there. Think of this. The eye of the dragon of God. And this is Satan. The eye, the nose, and the mouth. And down here, Satan down here too. See, look over here. See, the horn, the eye, the mouth right here. And my dear brother and sister, I tell you, the suit of me is going to be huge, big, and the water will be my way, my up to the sky. You talk about billion human beings will be sinking in the ocean and will be sucked in by Satan because A lot of us do things wrong right now and we not really serious to repent. So I be afraid if things continue like the way we live in right now, the way we do things right now, by the time coming, the end, by that time, most of us will not ready. That means billions of us will be destroyed by tsunami and by Satan and by war and by earthquake and by, you know, uh, heat from the sun, attack and also by many problems. So my dear brother and sister, Especially all of the leaders around the world and all of the media, you need to get involved to remind our brother and sister around the world about good news of God. Just give to all humankind by many signs of God create appear in the sky. Warning, good warning to all of us. And this picture right here appear in the sky, image right here appear in the sky, this is a half of the face of a soldier. You see the, uh, the helmet up here? Helmet up here? Right here, the helmet, I'll show you. The helmet up here, this is a half of a face of soldier. You see the eye messed up, the nose broken, 
the lip broken, the skin burn off. This up here in the sky. Take a look at this. Half of a face. You may learn something. Okay now, my dear brother and sister. The music you listen right now. This is healing music from the Almighty God. Tell me to create and to play and to, you know, to make it for you. So you can, you know, get it for me. My dear brother and sister around the world, as I remind you for more than three years by now, today is uh, December 8th, year of 2012. I had been remind you about the Almighty God, our Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost appear in the sky. Last warning, good last warning to all the brother and sister around the world. And as you know, my dear brother and sister, I put it on YouTube and also on my website called FaceGodJesusChrist.com It's been on there for many years 
Yes, my dear brother and sister around the world. It's been on the website for many years. Even though I call by name Vatican and also George Bush and also of course Brother Obama and all of the U.S. Senator and U.S. Congressman and woman. And of course, I call out loud to all the leader around the world. And also, I beg, begging, I asking all the media to get involved to report about wonderful news of the Almighty God to give to all humankind. They all, we all need to deliver the wonderful message from the Almighty God to our brother and sister around the world to be saved by the Holy God, Jesus Christ. You know, as I report, you see the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appear in the sky, the Holy Ghost appear in the sky. Satan appear in the sky and many more sign, good sign, good warning. But we need to deliver it to our brother and sister around the world. And who better do the job? All the media and of course all the leaders around the world. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to let their people in their country know. And of course, all of the rich and selfish, they need to do. Because this is their only last chance to make peace with God. My dear brother and sister, we live in the same boat called the Earth boat. From outside, look in. The earth is one boat, one how. We must help each other. Because if we're not, or those who against God's will, the Almighty, you will be with Satan. Because Satan appears. This is God allows Satan to appear. So you the one who make decision, your choice. Either you with Jesus or Satan will get you. No. We don't want to be with Satan. We need to be with Jesus, with the Almighty God, our Father to able to live forever because if if we not be with Jesus slave by Satan it's going to be terrible could be burned could be sinner could be really bad destroy hurt killing and many things wrong dark darkness darkness you imagine what is the worst thing in life. Hate, killing, cheap jolly, selfish, sickness, sadness. We need to be with God. It's sad to see most of our brothers and sisters around the world will go to hell or become Satan's slave or burn in hell. My dear brother and sister, 
we need to follow Jesus Christ rule. We need to love God with all our heart, our mind, our heart, and our mind and our soul. Our heart, our mind, and our soul. And of course, we must love the other as we love ourselves. My dear brother and sister, you remember, before you smart enough to know what your name is, what skin, what color of your skin is, you already name like that. Your skin already like that. God give you life. Like God give your father, your great grandfather life. God our Father, so wonderful, so passion, so lovely, and so smart, so incredible. You know how many universes out there? Children universe. That is the how of our Father. So big, so wonderful. The Almighty God tell me to tell you we must follow Jesus Christ rule and of course the Almighty God know that we a lot of us sometimes we doubt about God we wonder is, is God out there is it real is it God the Almighty God came to me when I was meditation for seven days, seven nights. Of course, at daytime I go to work, but while I'm work, I keep praying. And at night, you know, I get down my knees and I pray with my tea. For seven days, seven nights, I ask in the Holy God, the Almighty, the one who create everything good and control everything and give us life forever. Please come to me I, when I sleepy. And after seven days, seven nights, you know what happened? The Almighty God came to me when I was asleep. And this, and this is what exactly the Almighty God tell me to tell you. The Almighty God said. All my children, I know some of you still doubt about me, but I am God, as I say. I am the Almighty, as I say. I am Jesus Christ. All of you do not live for the past but you must live for today and tomorrow do things that I told you I already have gift for you in heaven because I am the almighty God as I say my dear brother and sister around the world. That was exactly the Almighty God tell me to tell you. 1984 summertime. From that day into now, I try to do whatever I can to deliver the wonderful message from the Almighty God to you. Sometimes 
am so tired because the way we do things, the way we live in, because I am a human like you, of course. And sometimes I almost give up, give up because I'm too tired. And because of your deny to help me to deliver the wonderful message to our brother and sister around the world. But every time I am try to decide to give up to deliver the wonderful message from God to you. So every time I almost have accident, either me or my family, my children almost get killed. Not me, but my children. And a lot of, you know, bad things may almost happen to warning me that I cannot run away from the wonderful work that the Almighty God chosen 